Dark, depressing, and needs more fog. After 10 years of dormancy, the Silent Hill series is being revived again. Woo! Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and today we will theorize what to expect from the Silent Hill 2 remake as well as other new Silent Hill projects. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! The Bloober team has released a new trailer for the Silent Hill 2 remake and a number of people are not taking it well due to the team's history in creating Resident Evil Resistance, RE-verse, and Marvel's Avengers. The remake looks pretty promising in my eyes. The trailer opens with a cockroach scurrying across the bathroom floor. James Sunderland enters the washroom and looks at his reflection in the mirror just like the original game. The only difference in the scene is the lack of patches in his jacket. Could she be here, waiting for me? James asks himself. His wife Mary died of a disease three years ago, and James was in the process of trying to move on from her. There is even a tan line on his finger where the wedding ring used to be, indicating he eventually took it off. During his attempts to overcome the pain of losing his wife, he receives a letter from Mary to meet her at their special place. He exits the washroom and approaches the sleepy and eerie town of Silent Hill to find answers from his wife's letter. James wonders if his wife Mary could really be in town waiting for him. Mary, could you really be in this town? He passes by a map of Toluca Lake, which has been a featured location of the video game series. The map looks different in the remake and original game, with removed buildings from the original, added buildings, and key locations. James passes by an easter egg location that could be called Cafe 5-2. This is a restaurant where Silent Hill 1's character, Harry Mason, meets Sybil Bennett. What more mysteries could be uncovered in the once small and beautiful town in Maine? This town is rotting away and bizarre humanoid monsters lurk in the fog. As James explores the town, he sees a faded figure of the iconic straitjacket enemy. I see that town. Silent Hill. Nothing is always what it seems. The trailer featured cinematic gameplay which means it will be played from a third person over the shoulder perspective, kind of like Resident Evil 2 Remake. The details ranging from the fog to rustling leaves creates a chilling environment for the game. There are icons who are returning to the series to help out with the game, Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamaoka. Masahiro Ito was responsible for the creature design in past Silent Hill games, and Akira Yamaoka composed ambient music from past Silent Hill games. The developer's goal is to not only rebuild the combat system, but to show you what James can see to keep you on edge. James first believed that an apartment complex is the special place Mary indicated in the letter. If this remake is like the original game, he may meet characters like Eddie Dombrowski and Angela Orozco. Eddie gets defensive when being interrogated about a dead body in his apartment. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? Angela came to town in search of her mother. In the apartment complex, he has a first encounter with Pyramid Head, a humanoid monster covered in a metallic pyramid-shaped helmet. Very peculiar. The remix trailer shows a girl standing in front of Brookhaven Hospital. Laura is a little girl who claimed to be friends with Mary. The scene pans to James reaching out for a key when someone's foot steps on his hand and kicks the key away. This is likely to be Laura kicking the key away and mocking him. Oh come on, the poor guy lost his wife. Laura was always a troublesome girl that made exploring difficult for James, but she indirectly helps him find the answers needed. And there is a reason why she is like this in the game. Open the door, Laura. James is shown in the next scene hiding in the closet from Red Pyramid. He is hidden with his gun ready to shoot. Just like the original game, he'll get caught by Red Pyramid and will dispense an entire clip in the creature only for it to walk away. James is also seen holding a noose as if he's going to hang himself. He may be sad and morose, but this guy does want to live. Pulling the noose was for a puzzle in the original game to obtain the key of the persecuted for the game's progression. His gloomy expression during this scene could indicate that death was the only way to escape his wife's torment. He is solving this puzzle outdoors in the rain for the remake, but in the original game, he did this puzzle indoors. The scene pans to a hospital where James attacks a bubblehead nurse with a wooden plank. These creatures were created by his subconscious. 
In a clip from the trailer, James is approaching a building in Rosewater Park where he meets Maria for the first time. Maria resembles his wife Mary, and he mistakes her for Mary during their first meeting. Mary? The scene then shifts to James inside an elevator with a panicked expression. This could be the scene in the original game where Maria gets stabbed by a pyramid head outside the elevator. No! Then, James is seen falling to the ground and screaming in anger. This scene looks similar to the ending of Silent Hill 2, where Maria is murdered by two pyramid heads. The trailer shows Pyramid on the rooftop of the building, which could allude to the scene where it pushes James off the rooftops from the original. This game will be developed on Unreal Engine and will be exclusive to the PS5 and PC for one year. It will be added to other consoles at a later date. This game will possibly be released in late 2023 or early 2024, seeing that the teaser trailer was released recently, and we weren't aware of a new Silent Hill game in the making. Apart from Silent Hill 2's remake, Konami announced a brand new Silent Hill game, Silent Hill F. This game is set in 1960s Japan and features a beautiful yet terrifying world. What we know about Silent Hill F is a dark, foggy, and abandoned Japanese town with invasive plant and fungal life forms. If you have trypophobia, maybe click off this video. I felt uncomfortable watching this trailer, but will I add this game to my cart? Yes! The teaser trailer for this game features a Japanese girl in school uniform outrunning vines with blooming flowers. <laughs> She is seen floating towards the Tori gate. The chrysanthemums overtake her body and eventually remove her face. The plot of this game seems so interesting that it'll make your face fall off. This is the first main series title in the horror franchise for more than a decade. So this game is a pretty big deal, and the game's story will be written by Ryukishi07. If you don't know him, he is the mastermind behind a brilliant visual novel series, Higurashi's When They Cry and Umaneko's When They Cry. This piqued my interest more than the remake. Konami has more surprises under his sleeve when he revealed another Silent Hill game that left us with unanswered questions. Gus Gollum, a well-known Silent Hill leaker, revealed that Ascension will be more of a streaming event rather than a game. He described it as a narrative branching cloud streaming experiment. Konami will stream a Choose Your Adventure Silent Hill miniseries, and the chat will collectively decide what happens and create their own Silent Hill canon, so they will create the ending that they all want. Our decisions will determine if characters live or die, what their relationships will be, or their fates. The trailer showed a live chat asking you to run or go save a character named Amina. The monster appears to be hunting for this character while being a content creator. This Silent Hill miniseries will be aired once according to Navok. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to join the family, and comment your opinions on the Silent Hill series. Were you expecting these Silent Hill games? I did not expect to see teaser trailers for these games this week, but I am pleasantly surprised. Let me know which one one of these Silent Hill games seem interesting to you. Thank you for watching, and that's all.